Joining us now is Sonia Jobin-Putra, a product manager at Google, who is here to give us the 411 on those sleek new phones. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Emily. So your team has been amazingly busy these past few months getting out this new Pixel to the lineup. What inspired you to create this phone? Yeah, when we set out to do Pixel in 2016, we really set out to do something different, to really bring radically helpful hardware to our consumers. And we thought we could do that by bringing the power of hardware, software, and AI together. And we still believe that. That's still our mission with these devices. But with the benefit of three years, we've been able to finally bring a phone that's more affordable to more people. Um, and what we've managed to do is essentially improve our capabilities in a, from a manufacturing standpoint, improve our capabilities from a hardware design and software standpoint, and three, we've just understood our users better over the last three years. Starting with the third one, understanding our users. By understanding our users, we can pick which pillars and which parts of the product are most important to our users and focus on those areas to design phones that give users what they need in a really optimized way. On the second two, we really have, year over year, improved our manufacturing. When we started out, we had other people building our phones for us. We are now a full contract manufacturer. We design and build our own devices, which is, means we've come a tremendous way from a manufacturing standpoint. Finally, on the engineering side, just last year, we ended up uh, acquiring a huge and talented engineering team in Taiwan from HTC. That team has been the lead on these devices, and they have brought years and years of experience in conjunction with our Chicago design team and our Mountain View design team to come together to build this new Pixel 3a device, the more affordable Pixel device at $399. That's super cool. I am personally very excited to see a new phone come out with a headphone jack and a great camera. What are your three favorite features of this new phone. Yeah, uh, well, let's start talk, let's talk about that headphone jack. Um, we, we debated on this headphone jack, but we really felt that consumers at this price point in this price tier really needed flexibility. And that's what that headphone jack gives you. We still support digital audio, and it is the ultimate way to consume your audio, right? You can either use our USB-C adapter on the bottom, or you can use Bluetooth headphones. And digital audio is incredible. But a lot of people have headphones, and we didn't need to create any more e-waste in the world. So we've decided to put a 3.5 millimeter headset jack in so that people could use the accessories that they already had available to them. Now, my top three. Let's start with the camera, because I think that's everybody's top for Pixel in general. And Pixel 3a is incredible. It shares the same camera experiences that you get on your Pixel 3 device, minus selfie, group selfie mode. But in general, you get all the great stuff, starting with Night Sight, which lets you take incredible images in low light. My favorite is taking pictures of my kids when they're sleeping because they sleep in the most awkward positions. But you would be surprised at the detail you can get. You can catch their bedspread, their little stuffies, and that's without turning any lights on in the room. It is truly incredible. On top of Night Sight, of course, you get portrait mode, so you can take those incredible selfies with that bokeh effect, with that beautiful blurred background. Um, and we have a depth editor, so you can change and adjust that just to how you want to see that picture. Um, we also have photo booth. Again, I'll say savior when you have kids. You just turn on the photo booth, and it captures the picture when they're both facing the camera and smiling. That is a rare split-second event anywhere, and photo booth captures it every single time. And that's also available on the Pixel 3a. So by far, the most incredible thing on this device is this camera. It's amazing. And finally, it has unlimited storage, just like our Pixel 3 devices with high quality, though. My second favorite has to be Google Assistant. Google Assistant is awesome. It saves time and effort all day long. You just have to talk to the phone to set reminders, get directions. It's super quick and easy. And when you're on the go, that's what you need. Something that's quick and easy and reliable. Finally, it also has a call screen. I don't know about you, but I get a lot of spam calls. Call screen is a savior. And with the power of Google Assistant and call screen, I only pick up calls that matter now, which is amazing. And, I, and 
the bonus, you get to waste a little bit of time of that spammer's time <laughs> as they try to call you and have to deal with your little automated message. So I really appreciate call screen. Um, and then my final one has to be battery life. We heard this loud and clear from our research that battery life is an issue. Um, and we all feel this, this anxiety of like, oh no, I have 20%, am I gonna get through the day? We wanted to eliminate battery anxiety. And I think we've done a fabulous job on these devices. One, we beefed up the batteries, so they're just bigger. On top of that, these both support adaptive battery, which we introduced on our Prixel devices earlier this year. And that just makes the battery a little bit smarter around how it's using the power, extending it. And so these devices both get over, sorry, up to, 30 hours of battery life on a full charge. On top of that, we put a fast charger in box. That's an 18 watt charger in the box. You can charge this bad boy for 15 minutes and get seven hours of battery life. While you're like getting ready to get out the door, charge it and you have the whole night available to you. It's pretty fantastic. So those would have to be my top three. That is quite an impressive list. Thanks. <laughs> um, I'd be curious to learn a little bit more about the camera itself. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me um, some more of the specifics on how it's able to cre create all these cool effects? Yeah, absolutely. So it starts with the hardware. The hardware that we've picked for these cameras is not mid-tier. It is premium hardware. In fact, the imager on the rear is the exact same imager that we use on our premium devices. The front imager is also the same normal field of view imager that we use for our premium devices. So we started with really great raw images. From there, our magical software team took over. They are phenomenal and they really were put to task on this phone because as you may know, the phone has not the same type of processing power as our premium phones. It has the Snapdragon 670 in it versus our, the 800 series that sits in our premium phone. So we've really condensed their processing power and they were still able to deliver. They optimized every last aspect of the camera features to get them to work on here. Each individual feature was revisited by the team to not only optimize the algorithms, but to optimize the overall experience to work on these particular devices. And they did it. They did a phenomenal job of delivering those, those software features. Thank you so much, Sonia, for coming to talk to us about the Pixel 3a and 3a XL. Thanks for having me, Emily. It's really exciting to talk about them.